So let me cut straight to the chase. I've built a high paying online business that aligns perfectly with who I am. No office politics, no soul crushing commutes, just pure value creation from the comfort of my own space. And guess what? I'm an introvert. Society might tell you that success belongs to the loud, the outgoing, the constantly networking, but that's not true. Today, I'm gonna show you 11 high paying remote jobs that are perfect for introverts. And these aren't just jobs, they're portals to a life of freedom, financial stability, and alignment with your true self. And from my journey through unconventional upbringings and crippling pharmacy school debt to then working remote and then making six figures per month online, I've learned one crucial lesson. Your introversion isn't a weakness. It's actually a super power if you use it the right way. And we're going to dive deep into opportunities that let you leverage your introspection, focus, and depth of thought. No fluff, no BS, just practical insights to level up your career game. So if you're ready to transform your career and life, smash that like button. It's your first step towards financial freedom. And let's dive in. First up, we've got technical writer. And if you can explain complex ideas in simple terms, this might be your jam. You see, companies need clear documentation for their products and processes. And as a technical writer, you will create user manuals, API documentation, and other technical content. And the average salary, typically between 66 and $114,000 a year. Now the key skills are going to be clear, concise writing, an understanding of technical concepts, attention to detail, and proficiency in documentation tools. And it's perfect for introverts because most of your interaction is with information, not people. All right, so technical writer is great, but next on our list is going to be UX researcher. And if you're curious about people think and interact with products, this could be your calling. UX researchers conduct user interviews, analyze data, and provide insights to improve product design. And the best part, most of this can be done remotely. Here's Yasmin, for instance, who is a UX researcher in London. She kicks off her mornings with team standups, then she conducts back-to-back -back user testing sessions, squeezing in a quick dog walk and lunch before diving back into more research and team meetings. And the average salary is in between 91 and $150,000 a year. And to reach the higher end of the pay scale, focus on developing both qualitative and quantitative research skills. And start with entry-level positions like junior UX researcher or UX research assistant, which often pay six sixty to $75,000 a year. Then you could pursue certifications like the User Experience Qualification or the Google UX Design Professional Certificate. Then you can gain experience with tools like user testing, Hotjar, and advanced analytics platforms. And some remote opportunities to begin your UX research career include UX research intern for tech startups, user feedback analyst for e-commerce platforms, or usability tester for app development companies. And the key to advancing in this field is balancing data-driven insights with a deep understanding of user needs and behaviors. Now, some key skills here is data analysis, survey design, understanding user empathy, and report writing. And it's great for introverts because while you do interact with users, it's structured and purposeful. Moving on to our next opportunity, SEO specialist. If you love solving puzzles and analyzing data, this job might be for you. And you'll optimize websites to rank higher in search engines, diving deep into keywords, content strategy, and technical SEO. Now, here's John, an SEO specialist at a content marketing firm, and he starts his day by diving into keyword research tools. Then he spends hours hours crafting detailed content briefs for writers, all while juggling algorithm updates and site audits. And the salary is between fifty-two dollars to $94,000 per year, and that's usually more of an entry-level role. There are other roles down the line where you can make much more than that. Now, some key skills here are analytical thinking, understanding of search engine algorithms, content optimization, and technical SEO knowledge. And this one is perfect for introverts because you're mostly working with data and websites, not people. And to climb the SEO salary ladder, start by mastering both on-page and off-page SEO techniques. And entry-level positions like junior SEO analyst or SEO coordinator often start out at $45 to $55,000 a year. And a really good way to get started with this would be to take a free training from this guy named Seth Jared, who's basically helped thousands of people get into digital marketing. And one of the digital marketing careers he helps people get into is SEO. Now, I've interviewed a bunch of students who have gotten jobs because of him. And if you want to check out his free training, which will go over exactly what SEO and digital marketing is and whether or not it's a good fit for you and exactly how to get into it, I'll put that down in the description and the pinned comment below. Now, some remote jobs to kickstart your SEO career include SEO content writer for digital marketing agencies, keyword research specialist for e-commerce sites, and a technical SEO analyst for SaaS companies. And remember, SEO is always evolving. So staying up to date with the latest algorithm changes and best practices is crucial for success. Now let's talk about business intelligence analysts. They turn raw data into actionable insights, and they do it from the comfort of their own homes. And in this position, you would analyze complex data sets, create visualizations, and help businesses make 
better data-driven decisions. Now, here's someone who works at a tech startup and she spends her mornings in meetings with various departments, gathering crucial business information, then dives deep into data preparation and analysis using SQL. Then she finishes off her day by creating visually compelling reports to present her findings to stakeholders. And in this position, you'll earn between 102 to $167,000 a year. Now, some key skills here would be data analysis, of course, being able to use SQL, data visualization tools like Tableau, and of course, critical thinking. And this is ideal for introverts who prefer letting the numbers do the talking. Now, you might be wondering, how do you reach that six-figure salary? Well, let me break it down for you. Most people start their journey as data analysts or junior business intelligence analysts. Now, these entry-level positions typically pay between fifty dollars and $80,000 per year. And to climb the ladder, you can focus on developing your technical skills and business acumen. So for instance, you can master SQL, Python, and data visualization tools like Tableau or Power BI. You can also gain experience with big data technologies like Hadoop and Spark. And you can consider getting certifications like the Microsoft Certified Data Analyst Associate or the Google Data Analysis Professional Certificate. These can boost your credibility and earning potential. Now, as you gain experience, look for opportunities to lead projects or mentor junior analysts. And this demonstrates leadership skills, which are crucial for higher paying positions. Now, some remote jobs to start your journey include junior data analyst for e-commerce, business intelligence intern for tech startups, and data visualization specialist for marketing agencies. And remember, the key is to continuously learn and adapt to new technologies. And don't forget that every good thing takes a process. And the more value you can provide in turning data into actionable insights, the higher your earning potential. Speaking of processes, let me share a bit about my own journey. When I started my YouTube channel, I was far from an overnight success. I began by analyzing data on viewer engagement, just like a business intelligence analyst would. I experimented with different content types and gradually refined my approach. It took time, persistence, and a lot of learning, but that process led me to where I am today. And now when it comes to data analysis, I'm at the forefront of YouTube knowledge. And one thing almost all YouTubers forget to analyze is how much money that they make from their content. And I've pulled a lot of people on the channel and a lot of people want to start their own YouTube channels. And that's why I put together this free guide, which is called Monetize Yourself, Turn Your Pain Into Profits. And it's all about leveraging your personal experiences, even the challenging ones, to create a thriving online business. So whether you're an introvert looking to make money on your own terms, or you're just someone seeking a new path, this guide could be your first step. So check out the link in the description. Again, it's completely free to learn more. Now let's move on to our next high paying job for introverts, and that is going to be a grant writer. Now this is another one that I have personal experience with. I used to write grants. And in this position, you'll research funding opportunities and craft compelling proposals for nonprofits and other organizations. Now here's Stefan, a grant writer who turned his chemistry PhD into a unique career opportunity. He basically spends his days crafting compelling proposals for startups using his scientific background to translate complex innovations into fundable projects, all while enjoying the freedom to work from anywhere in the world. Now, a lot of the time, these jobs pay between about $48,000 to $75,000 a year, and some key skills are persuasive writing, research skills, attention to detail, and project management. And this is great for introverts because most of your work is solo with minimal meetings. And to climb the salary ladder, you want to specialize in high demand areas like medical research or education grants. And entry level positions often start around $45,000 to $55,000 a year, but with experience, you can quickly move up. And you might also want to consider certifications like the Grant Professional Certification, GPC, to boost your credentials. And also develop expertise in grant management software like Grant Hub or Flux to increase your value. Now, remote jobs to kickstart your career include junior grant writer for environmental nonprofits, fundraising specialist for educational institutions, and research research and grant coordinator for healthcare organizations. And remember, success in grant writing comes from a combination of compelling storytelling and meticulous attention to detail. Now, by the way, drop your thoughts, questions, comments, etc. For instance, if you've worked any of these jobs, or you have any jobs that you think would be really good fit for introverts, comment down below and let me know. Let's explore another exciting opportunity, quality assurance tester. This is where you get paid to find problems before they reach the public. You test software, websites, and apps to ensure that they work flawlessly, reporting bugs and suggesting improvements. So here's Maya, a QA tester at a software company, and she starts her day with a bike ride to the office, then she dives into API testing for an e-commerce project. Then she juggles multiple stand-up meetings throughout the morning while managing various testing tasks across different projects. And her salary is between $62,000 and $111,000 a year. So some key skills here are attention to detail, critical thinking, basic coding knowledge, and documentation skills. And this one is perfect for introverts who love to dive deep into systems and processes. And to reach higher salaries, focus on developing developing automation, and develop knowledge of various testing methodologies. Now, entry-level positions like junior QA tester often start at $40,000 to $50,000 a year, and you can pursue certifications like the ISTQB or the CSQA, and gain experience with tools like Selenium, Jira,
Jira, and Test Rail. And some remote opportunities to begin your QA career include manual QA tester for a mobile app, QA intern for an e-commerce platform, or a game tester for a video game studio. And the key to advancing in this field is balancing thoroughness with efficiency and staying up to date on the latest testing techniques. Next is a social media analyst. And this one is interesting because you might think that you'd have to be social to do this, but in reality, you're behind the scenes crunching the numbers. And you're basically just analyzing social media data, tracking campaign performance, and providing insights to guide social media strategy. And here's Jessica, a social media analyst at a marketing agency, and she starts her day by diving into various analytics tools like Facebook Insights and Twitter Analytics. Then she crunches numbers to uncover trends and insights, and then she collaborates with content producers and strategists to refine social media strategies based on her findings. And the average salary here is $56,000 a year. Now, the key skills are going to be data analysis, an understanding of social media platforms, and critical thinking. And this one is ideal for introverts who love social media but prefer to analyze rather than create content. And to climb up the salary ladder, you want to focus on developing advanced analytical skills and strategic thinking. Entry-level positions like junior social media analyst often start around forty-five to $55,000 a year. And you can pursue certifications like the Hootsuite Social Marketing or Facebook Blueprint certifications or the Facebook Social Media Certificate at Coursera. Then you can develop expertise in tools like Sprout Social, Brandwatch, and Google Analytics. Now, some remote jobs to kickstart your career would include a social media data analyst for a marketing agency, community insights specialist for tech startups, and a social listening analyst for consumer brands. And remember, the key to success is not just understanding numbers, but translating data into actionable insights for content creation and engagement strategies. Next up, we've got e-commerce managers. And this is where you run an online store from the comfort of your home. You'll be managing inventory, optimizing product listings, and analyzing sales data, all while implementing marketing strategies. Now, here's Rob. He's an e-commerce manager at the Chimp Store, and he spends his day juggling various tasks, from monitoring paid acquisition activities and listing new products, to developing creative strategies for brand awareness and analyzing data spreadsheets, all while collaborating with warehouse staff to improve processes. And this job pays between eighty-five dollars to $148,000 a year. And some key skills here are understanding of e-commerce platforms, digital marketing knowledge, data analysis, and customer service skills. And this is great for introverts who love retail, but maybe not the face-to-face -face customer interaction side of it. And to reach higher salaries, focus on developing expertise in multiple e-commerce platforms and advanced digital marketing techniques. Now, entry-level positions like assistant e-commerce manager often start around 50 to 60K per year. And you can pursue certifications like the Shopify Certified Expert or the Google Analytics for Power Users Cert, and then gain experience with tools like Magento, WooCommerce, and email marketing platforms such as Klaviyo. And remote opportunities to begin your e-commerce career include product lister for online marketplaces, e-commerce marketing coordinator for retail brands, and inventory management specialist for dropshipping companies. Now, the key to success in this field is balancing customer experience with profitability and always staying ahead of e-commerce trends. Next, we've got a very exciting one. I really like this one a lot. Not enough people talk about it, and that is instructional designer. And in this position, you basically create engaging learning experiences without stepping into a classroom. And you develop online courses, training materials, and e-learning modules for companies and educational institutions. Here's an instructional designer at a corporate training firm. They start their day by meeting with a subject matter expert to gather information. Then they move on to creating learner personas and designing comprehensive training plans, all while ensuring the content aligns with the organizational goals and culture. And the median total pay for this is $91,000 a year. Now, some key skills here are course development, e-learning software proficiency, creative thinking, and project management. And it's perfect for introverts who love to teach but prefer not to be in the spotlight. Now, to climb the salary ladder, you want to specialize in high demand areas like corporate training or educational technology. And entry level positions often start around fifty-five to $65,000 a year, but with experience, you can quickly move up. And you can consider certifications like the Certified Professional in Learning and Performance, or the CPLP, to boost your credentials, and develop expertise in e-learning authoring tools like Articulate Storyline or Adobe Captivate. And remote jobs to kickstart your career include junior instructional designer for online education platforms, e-learning content developer for corporate training departments, or a curriculum designer for ed tech startups. And remember, the key to success is not just creating content, but designing truly engaging and effective learning experiences. Next, we've got project managers. And in this position, you lead teams and deliver projects all from the comfort of your home office. And you'll be coordinating tasks, managing timelines, and ensuring project success, mostly through digital communication. So here's a remote 
project manager who juggles multiple tasks and priorities daily, and they start their day by assessing what needs to be done to bring projects closer to completion, which might involve reallocating resources, planning sessions, or managing budgets, all while balancing the big picture with individual project needs. And a salary for this job is between $103,000 to $183,000 a year. And some key skills here are organization communication and problem solving proficiency with project management tools. And it's ideal for introverts who have leadership skills but prefer structured, purpose driven interactions. Now, to reach higher salaries, focus on developing expertise in various project management methodologies and industries. Now, some entry level positions would be junior project coordinator, and they often start around $55,000 to $65,000 a year. And you could pursue certifications like the Project Management Professional or PMP, as well as the Google Project Management Professional Cert. And you'd probably want to gain experience with tools like Asana, Trello, and Microsoft Project. Now, some remote opportunities to begin your project management career include assistant project manager for software development companies, project coordinator for marketing agencies, and scrum master for agile development teams. Now, the key to advancing in this field is balancing technical knowledge with strong leadership and communication skills, all while mastering the art of remote team management. Next, we're going to talk about market research analysts. And this is where you dive deep into consumer behavior and market trends without leaving your introvert bubble. You'll collect and analyze data on consumers, competitors, and market conditions to help companies make informed decisions. And here's a market researcher who transitioned into this role from another field. She starts her day by catching up on emails and enjoying the office's bagel day, then dives into programming and quantitative research study. And she leverages skills she learned on the job from a colleague who specializes in evolving research processes and platforms. And the job typically pays between $72,000 and $134,000 a year. Now, some key skills here would be data analysis, statistical software proficiency, critical thinking, and report writing. And it's perfect for introverts who are curious about people but prefer to study them from afar. Now, to ascend the career ladder, develop advanced statistical skills. Master tools like SPSS, SAS, or R for complex data analysis. Also, gain expertise in both qualitative and quantitative research methods. This breadth of knowledge is highly valued. Specialize in high demand industries like healthcare, technology, or finance, as industry specific knowledge can significantly boost your earning potential. And pursue relevant certifications such as the PRC or Insight Association Certificate in Market Research. And then enhance your data visualization skills. Proficiency in tools like Tableau or Power BI can set you apart. Also, you want to develop a business acumen. Understand how businesses actually work. And then understand how research translates to business strategy in order to increase the bottom line. Now, by the way, if you want to check out 21 of the highest paying remote jobs that are available on the job market, I actually made a video like that. It went viral. People absolutely loved it. And you can check it out by clicking right here.